Police on horseback and dozens of officers were today called in as striking wharfies staged a waterfront battle. Fremantle port workers have walked off the job in the push for more family-friendly conditions. Jessica Brown reports. A tense standoff as 30 Fremantle port workers edge closer to confront police. MUA! MSA! MUA! MSA! Dozens of officers, some on horseback, block their path as the wharfies try to join their striking mates at the entrance of Fremantle Port's Quinana facility. The action is part of a four-day strike for better pay and working conditions. Trucks were forced to turn around and a ship sat idle in the dock. The grain terminal also affected. But as the Maritime Workers' Union met port officials to try to resolve the dispute, police support arrived in numbers. Right now we're standing here in front of a group of police officers. It seems to be quite a heavy-handed tactic. But late this afternoon, police backed down and let workers through to the front line. Everyone's been generally fairly uh, cooperative so far, so uh, we're just allowing the, them to go down there and uh, join up. Do you think the police presence has been over the top? Oh, no, no, because you've got... Um, about 40 here and you've got 60 down the other end and it's all about maintaining the peace. As part of negotiations for a new enterprise agreement, workers want rosters changed from four days on, four days off to four days on, six days off. Troy Buswell says the state is being held to ransom with three million dollars of trade passing through the port every hour. The workers have been offered a 13 percent pay rise over three years. A meeting between the MUA and the Port Authority failed to reach a resolution. They're expected to meet again this evening. The workers say they'll stay as long as it takes to get what they want. And how long will this police presence remain now that the groups are going to join? Oh, back as again? long as we determine it's necessary. And for the latest, reporter Jessica Brown joins us live from Kunana. Jessica, what's the situation there now? Well, Tets, in the past couple of hours, more and more Fremantle port workers arrived here at the Quinana facility to join their workmates in blocking the path. I'd say there was at least around a couple of hundred. They met with the MUA bosses who had earlier today met with the Fremantle Port Authority. They told the workers that negotiations were progressing, but there was still a long way to go. I mean, as you can see behind me, dozens of workers still remain here, and they've told me that they will continue their fight. They'll stay through the night and for the next three days as planned until the negotiations over their working conditions is resolved. I can tell you that there really is no police presence here at all now. It was a very different story to early in the, earlier in the day, as you saw, uh, but the protests were very peaceful and there was really no aggression from either side, but police say they will return in numbers if they are needed. In terms of the Fremantle port, I'm told the operations did continue today, but with a limited staff, but they say with 15 shipments due in and out of the port over the next couple of days, it is a very serious situation and one that they will continue to monitor very closely. And now it's back to you. Thank you.